is Spirit Star, and in today's video, I'll be commenting and describing Pokemon number 658, Greninja. Let's get this party started. And by the way guys, I have a surprise for you. You guys might actually like it. Uh, so yeah, Pokemon number 658, Greninja. It's known as the Ninja Pokemon. And its description is it creates throwing stars, throwing stars out of compressed water. When it spins them and throws them at high speeds, those stars can split metal in two. And its egg group is water one. There's two types of water egg groups, water one and water two. Water, water 2 are basically fishes, they basically don't have arms. Water 1 actually have arms, you know, movable arms as a water type, so yeah. It's base stats, it's HP is 72, it's attack is 95 which is decent, it's defense 67, his special attack, 103, which is very good, is good. His speed is 71, which is okay. And his special is 122, which is very good. And his total is 530. It evolved from Frogadier at level 36. And its abilities are Torrent and Protean. Torrent strengthens water type move to inflict 1.5 times damage at one third of max HP or less. Protean changes the bearer's type to match each move it uses. And then in Pokemon Sun and Moon, he gains a new ability which is Trainer's Bond. Each time you you defeat each when you um basically when Greninja destroys one op opposing Pokemon, the second one he evolves into Ash Greninja, and it increases his special attack, attack, and defense. For, for the new Pokemon Sun and Moon. As for his move pool, upon leveling up is level 1 Pound, level 1 Growl, level 1 Role Play, level 1 Night Slash, level 1 Mat Block, level 5 Bubble, level 8 Quick Attack, level 10 Lick, level 14 Water Pulse, Level 20, Smoke Screen. Level 23, Shadow Sneak. Level 28, Spike. Level 33, Faint Attack. Level 36, Water Shuriken. Level 43, Substitute. Level 49, Extra Sensory, which is odd, but it's a cool move to have. Uh, level 52, Double Team. Level 56 Haze, Level 60 Hydro Pump, Level 70 Night Slash, and Level 75 Water Shuriken. As for its battle strategies, give it a second. Okay. It's considered a Uber. Oh, sorry, it's typing in dark water. It's a Uber. Greninja has high speed stat that allows it to function well as a suicide lead in Ubers. Furthermore, Greninja has great ability protein which allows it to, to switch it's typing depending on the move it uses. 
meaning it can easily play around opponents. Greninja has a huge move pool with many status moves as well as the physical and special moves. However, one of Greninja's downsides is mediocre offensive stat and bulk. Additionally, Greninja can be st stopped quite easily by faster offensive attackers. Lastly, Greninja faces huge competition from the Deoxys form as a suicide lead. Although its niche lies in Toxic Spike it, and its ability to block Rapid Spin because of Protean Shadow Sneak. As, as for the Suicide lead, its first move is Toxic Spike if you want a, a battle strategy and stuff. Its first move is Toxic Spike is his second move is Spikes, his third move is Taunt, and his fourth move is Shadow Sneak. If you equip it with a Focus Sash and with the ability Protean, it has to have a Jolly Nature, and you would have to train its EVs to 252 Attack, 4 Defense, and 252 Speed. Um, as, as for me, I actually like Greninja because of the whole ninja thing and basically you... The other cool thing about Greninja is that you could transfer it from your demo of Pokemon Sun and Moon to the actual game and he's, he's pretty good like... Um, I'm actually using him right now to battle and stuff and when... His, st his, stat his stats are basically good. Sorry for stuttering so much. It's weird. You know. Um, so yeah, Gren Greninja is pretty cool. He's a ninja Pokemon. Obviously, like, Granny. You know. Uh, what else can I say about him? He's cool. Oh, and sorry, his shiny is pure black. It basically looks like a ninja. Cool. I am true ninja. That's where his name comes from. Gre and ninja. Gre for Grenouille, which means frog in French, and ninja because he's a ninja. And he he uses shurikens and, and a sword as well. You know. If you mega evolve him, that is. You know. Uh, surprise, I, I have a surprise for you guys, um, I picked it up, I picked this up, uh, today, yeah, I believe, I got the game guide for Pokemon Sun and Moon, which is actually so cool, see, there's Solgaleo and Lunala, and in the back, it's a Pokeball, and it, it brings, it brings a whole bunch of stuff, like a, like a map and stuff, and then it tells you more about the um, the Pokédex that's coming out uh, early 2017. And the cool thing about it is it also brings concept art. And apart from that, they give you like this thing that has concept art like this. So if you if you guys get the game guide, the um, collector's edition. It comes with this, the book, and the um, and this basically a map of of Alola and the and the type charts as well. So yeah, uh, if you guys are playing Pokemon Sun and Moon, go get your game guide. It's actually pretty cool. Um, I'll 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 show you guys the pictures that that it came with the um concept art stuff. Yeah, this is um. Uh, sorry, I don't wanna. I don't wanna spoil, but um, if you if you don't wanna be spoiled, please turn away. Just listen to the sound of my voice. You know, um, 
So yeah, this is this is one of the kahunas, you know. Uh, I'll show you right now. Sorry. Uh, there we go. So yeah, that's the that's the concept art. Okay. And on the other side, it shows uh. You barely could see it, but, um, yeah, guys. I'll be showing the next one. There we go. Yeah, guys, this is, this is one of the, one of the, um, well, the big kahunas of one of the islands, you know? For a game that's very, that's for children, they obviously make it look a little too sexy. Like this? Uh, yeah, it, it's a bit too skimpish for some people. And on the other side, it shows you. Okay, on with the next one, which, which is a guy named Manu, but I don't know who this is yet, because I haven't gone to the, to the other island yet, but it looks pretty cool, the concept art. Okay, I will flip it over now. I actually think it's pretty cool that it came with all this concept art and it it looks so cool like the way yeah they draw all these characters and these sketches I I myself do sketches sometimes you know um and it actually looks pretty good like I would I would probably get a couple cool ideas, you know, to create some characters, you know, based off the Pokemon Sun and Moon. So yeah, guys. Um, as for me, I'll continue playing Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, and once I get my computer, I will, I will be playing it over again for you guys so yeah don't worry about that i'll finish it and basically i'll i'll know what to do by the time by the time i get my computer so yeah guys this is hapu which she looks like one of them cattle driver thingies you know and on the other side is basically a giant landscape I think it's kind of cool, you know. So yeah, guys. Okay. Next picture is a picture of the Mask Royale, which is a wrestler that looks like Rey Mysterio kind of. What do you guys think of it? It's, um, I don't want to spoil anybody, but if you guys want to see it, of course. Like, what? Like, the game guide is pretty cool. So if you guys do get Pokemon Sun and Moon, um, yeah, get the game guide as well. Like, it's pretty cool. I actually like it. Okay, next one. The next one's name. Lusamine, which obviously means light something. Oh, sorry, guys. Yeah, 
There you guys go. Now we'll click it over now. To uh So yeah guys, this is actually pretty cool, it's quite a, uh, actually two more, and that's it. Wait, uh, this one's on the Aether Foundation, one, one of the rookies I guess. They look pretty cool, I would most likely, if, if I could get like a suit like this in, in the Pokemon game, that would be so cool, I'd be like, oh. I'm the tour guy, you know? So yeah guys, um... Okay, next one. Okay guys, and last but not least, Lily's expression. Like when she's happy, she's sad, she's confused. Okay, give me a second. Now you guys go. There you go. And this is kind of big, but uh, it's meant to be like this kind of okay I hope you guys can see it okay that and yeah that's it guys like the concept art is actually pretty cool hey my Greninja level 40 grew to level 40 nice uh, so yeah guys, it's, it's a good game guide. It's definitely worth it for if you like concept art and stuff. And um, I barely have time to show the, the actual, I could show, you know, like the picture in the front and stuff. I'll, I'll most likely be doing, you know, skimming right through it or something if you guys want to see that you know this is the front part you know okay like that oh, sorry see like like the concept art in the front and stuff it's actually pretty cool i actually like it i might actually enjoy this book you know So yeah guys, um, what else can I say, you know, that's it for this video, I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.